Hello, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and today we're looking at a present HR2600. Uh, a lot of people have asked me if this radio can be modified for 11 meter operation. It normally can be. Um, it requires removing a chip. You'll see that the chip is right here. That chip can be replaced with a chip from a unit in 2510. Uh, that would allow the radio to transmit and receive uh, on the 11 meter frequency after you did a little jumper modification to it. The modification is readily available online. If you do a search for 2510 frequency modification, uh, most often you'll be able to find that 11 meter mod. There's also another method which involves doing a chip switch. Uh, the chip switch was a modification designed by a couple guys and it offers the radio a lot more frequencies than normally would and it also offers uh, some more functions. Uh, that also requires changing out that chip as well. It's pretty difficult. Basically, there's one other option that's discussed online, um, and that is to change out the crystal on the radio. So, you need to replace the crystal, um, go from a 22 megahertz that's located there to a 20 megahertz crystal, and then after that you'd need to adjust some of the tuning points on this board, and you also would need to adjust some tuning uh, locations on the other side. Yeah, remove the top cover of the radio on the HR2600. Normally on most CB radios, if you remove the speaker side of the radio, this is what you'd see. Uh, on the HR2600, it's a little bit different. Nice thing about this radio is all the adjustment points are shown inside. Um, they're labeled on the board, the AMC, the ALC, uh, AM power, they're all labeled on the board so you can easily make adjustments to your AM power dead key and things like that. Um, basically your sideband adjustment, frequency adjustment for AM sideband are going to be over here, your AM lower sideband, upper sideband. Your TX offset is going to be over here. The most, as you can see on the frequency on this radio is showing 29.1850. I did do the crystal swap as an experimentation to see if we could receive 11 meters. Um, I swapped out the 22 megahertz crystal for a 20 megahertz crystal on the board. And as you can probably hear with a little bit of DX rolling in, the radio is now receiving on 27.1850. I definitely do not recommend this modification. It took extensive tuning to be able to get to uh, 11 meters so the thing works correctly. Um, I was able to receive on sideband and AM, but it definitely doesn't work uh, as well as it would have if you'd done the chip switch. So I'm kind of happy to take a good walk now uh, without the backer. And the lights, uh, oh, God bless Larry, good to hear you. We've been wondering about you. We've been hearing for you. Uh, God bless, like I say, uh, uh, Larry, and uh, we will be hearing for you out there on the old 